Specialized trucks, such as those from Kenworth, can transport even larger quantities, with some models capable of carrying up to 50 pigs. Artificial insemination AI, has emerged as a key technique in the pig farming sector, revolutionizing modern pig farming practices. Studies show that the weights achieved through AI far exceeded natural mating rates, which typically range from 70 to 80%. In addition to improving conception rates and genetic quality, artificial insemination plays a key role in reducing the risk of disease transmission. Sperm is collected, carefully stored, and then inserted into the saw's uterus through a catheter. This meticulous process ensures efficient and controlled sperm delivery, maximizing the chances of successful fertilization. The time to inseminate pigs is very important and is consistent with the sow's estrus cycle, which lasts about 24 to 48 hours, recognizing the signs of estrus such as swollen and red vulva, vocalization and readiness to mate, is essential to optimize timing of insemination. Ideally, the procedure is performed within 12 to 18 hours of the onset of the estrus. The gestation period of a sow after successful insemination is about 114 days. The sow then gives birth to a litter of piglets, marking the peak of the reproductive cycle. Weaning of piglets usually occurs after two to three months of breast feeding. At this stage, piglets transition from mother's milk to natural food, representing an important stage and their development. Harvesting pigs for meat is usually done when they reach a weight of about 100 to 120 kilograms. This stage usually occurs about 5 to 6 months after birth, marking the success of the entire pig farming cycle. Pork choppers have been around since the early 20th century, with the German engineer Max Otto inventing the first model. His pioneering opened a new era in meat processing, enhancing production capabilities and product quality. Cutting blades of modern pork slicers are often made from materials such as stainless steel, carbon steel, and alloy steel, this combination provides the best cutting performance and high durability. In the meat processing industry in the United States, the process of deboning pork has become extremely modern and precise in modern processing plants. This process not only helps separate bones effectively, but also ensures the safety and quality of meat products. Let's take a look at the important steps and advantages of a modern pig deboning line. Although the investment cost in a bone cutting and carcass dividing machine system can be up to several million dollars, the advantages it brings to pork processing plants are undeniable.
Modern bone cutting machine systems have the ability to increase meat cutting productivity many times compared to manual cutting methods. This helps optimizing production process and meet the growing demand for meat products. The bone cutting machine helps cut the meat accurately and evenly, creating high quality meat products while ensuring food safety and hygiene. Large factories can process thousands of pig carcasses every day, meeting growing market demand. Ham is made from salted and dried pork thighs in Europe. The 17th century was a time when cotton officially touched the shores of the United States through European settlers. From the daily meals of Europeans, ham quickly became a popular, indispensable dish in the American cuisine. Pork thighs are carefully selected and salted for about 10 days to remove unwanted water and fat. Then, air drying or smoking helps create the characteristic flavor and crispness of the ham. In modern processing factories, cotton ginseng is processed through advanced automatic lines, from receiving and quality chicken to cutting the pork leg and salting it. Every step is carried out strictly and efficiently. This process not only preserves the traditional flavor, but also ensures mass production to meet large consumer demand. Cured hams are often cheaper than smoked hams, and famous brands often come with higher prices. This creates diversity in the market, allowing consumers to choose according to their preferences and requirements. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, ham consumption has reached 1.2 million tons by 2022. Not only appearing in daily meals, Ham is also the main ingredient in many popular dishes, such as bread, sandwiches, salads, and pizza. You already know all these processes. Please give us one like and one channel subscription so we can make one more great video. Thank you so much and allow me to invite you to continue watching the rest of the video. Let's keep watching. Raising a chicken farm has many important things that needs to be paid attention to. Newly hatched turkey chicks will be taken to a separate breeding area and closed transport vehicles. They are stored in cardboard boxes with air holes to maintain life. In the area where newly hatched chicks are raised, heat lambs will be installed, the floor will be covered with a thick layer of sawdust and adequate water and food prepared according to the age of the chicks. Breeding temperature is especially important. Chicks will develop best between 25 and 32 degrees. They will be raised in this environment for about 7 days before being taken to the common farm. These are some large turkey farms. Turkeys that are cared for after about 7 days in a separate breeding area will be brought to these farms. These farms provide food and water completely automatically using feed pipe systems throughout the farm. Every week, the chicken feed truck will arrive and deliver the feed to the farm's feed storage area. These carts 
can hold approximately 44,000 to 66,000 pounds of chicken feed. The typical food storage tower can hold about 22,000 to 44,000 pounds. Chick brand density typically ranges from 40 to 50 pounds per square feet. Baby turkeys consumes about 1.5 to 2 pounds of food per day in the early stages. As turkeys grow older, their food needs to also increase. Adult turkeys can consume about 3 to 4 pounds of feed per day. In about 8 to 10 months, they will reach their weight and be harvested. A small-scale turkey farm can raise about 1,000 turkeys with an average feed consumption of 3 pounds per animal per day. This farm will consume approximately 3,000 pounds of feed per day. A large-scale turkey farm can raise tens of thousands of turkeys. Depending on the size of the farm, daily feed consumption can reach hundreds of thousands of even millions of pounds. Gambaro vaccine, Lesota vaccine, Mark vaccine, and Newcastle vaccine will be given to turkeys at this age. This vaccine will help them resist many viruses that are extremely harmful to chickens approaching the harvest stage. Thanksgiving turkey harvest usually begins in the late November and lasts through early December. The official harvest day is the Thursday after Thanksgiving Wednesday. They get harvested when they reach a weight of about 12 to 14 pounds. Thanksgiving turkey are usually harvested earlier, around 10 to 12 pounds. This is because the turkey needs time to cook and become more delicious. Farm owners will regularly monitor the farm to ensure that there are no unusual signs in the chickens before harvesting time. The chickens that are completely healthy and moving flexibly, they will be put into cages and transported to pressing plants. Pressing millions of turkeys in a cutting-edge facility entails a meticulously orchestrated series of steps aimed at ensuring efficiency and maintaining top tire quality. Within the confines of a modern production line, the journey from live turkey to packaged product unfolds seamlessly, reflecting the commitment to both humane practices and high standards of food safety. Before joining the processing line, each bird undergoes rigorous health and quality assessments to guarantee its sustainability for further processing. Once inside the facility, the turkeys face the stunning phase, where they are rendered unconscious through either electrical or gas methods. The electric stunning method preferred for its speed and efficiency, sets the stage for the subsequent steps in the journey from farm to table. Subsequently, the turkeys are immersed in hot water during the scalding process, facilitating the removal of feathers. This meticulous feather-picking stage is followed by a thorough rinse with clean water, eliminating any remaining contaminants. As the turkey progress through the pressing line, they encounter a cooling phase where cold water is used to bring down their temperature. This not only contributes to the safety of the final product but also extends its shelf life.
The meat cutting phase is next, where the turkeys are expertly sectioned to obtain various parts such as thigh meat, breast meat, wings, legs, and organs. This precision ensures that each part meets the desired specifications for packaging. Finally, the processed turkey parts are carefully packaged in plastic bags or boxes. Each package is labeled and marked with precision before being dispatched to grocery stores and restaurants, ready to grace the tables of consumers. Thanksgiving in the United States is a time-honored celebration, a day when families come together to express gratitude and indulge in a feast of selectable dishes. Among the cherished traditions, roasting a turkey takes center stage, symbolizing abundance and marking the essence of this festive occasion. The meticulous process of preparing and roasting the Thanksgiving turkey is an art form, and the results are a succulent centerpiece that graces dinner tables across the nation. To embark on this culinary journey, one begins with a carefully selected turkey, typically weighing between 10 to 12 pounds. The thawed bird serves as a canvas for a flavor-packed spice mixture that includes a symphony of ingredients, softened butter, brown sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and a hint of black pepper. This harmonious blend creates a fragment and rich coating, ensuring that every bite of the roasted turkey is infused with a perfect balance of savory and sweet notes. As the oven preheats to 350 Fahrenheit, the turkey is generously slathered with the spice mixture, creating a tantalizing anticipation of the flavors to come. The roasting process, lasting between 3 to 3.5 hours, transforms the bird into a golden masterpiece, with the internal temperature reaching a savory of 165 Fahrenheit. Patience is rewarded as the turkey rests for a crucial 20 minutes before carving, allowing the juice to redistribute, resulting in tender, juicy meat that captivates the palate for those craving the coveted crispy skin. Is your dishes basting with pan juices, and the final 15 minutes of roasting ensures a delightful crunch with every bite. Wishing you and your loved ones a Thanksgiving filled with joy, gratitude, and of course, the perfection of a beautifully roasted turkey. Are wild turkeys used for Thanksgiving? How do American farmers hunt wild turkeys? Now let's get to watch that in the rest of the video. Sheep are familiar animals in the livestock industry. They're cared for and raised the most in some of the world's leading countries. Based on statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United States, FAO, the leading countries and the number of sheep livestock includes China, Australia, India, New Zealand, Iran, South Africa, Sudan, and Argentina. Around the world, large-scale sheep farms sometimes raise millions of sheep. Mount Hope Station is a farm in New Zealand with a scale of 1,000,000 sheep. Clare Valley Station in Australia with 1,200,000 sheep. And Miranda Station in Australia with a scale of 900,000 sheep. The process of caring for and raising sheep requires attention and in-depth knowledge. The breeding stage is important. Depending on the purpose of raising animals, such as meat, 
milk, or fur. Sheep are raised on forage and concentrates and are protected by regular vaccination and warming. During the farming process, changing the bedding regularly approximately every 10 to 15 days helps maintain a clean and dry environment for the sheep. Dry straw is used as a lining, providing warmth in winter and coolness in summer. Feeders installed throughout the sheep area help ensuring the sheep are conventionally provided with food. They are made from wood, plastic or metal and placed away from feces and urine. Daily intake includes grains and bran, with foods such as wheat, corn, oats, rice bran, corn bran, and wheat bran. Form a farm of 100 sheep. About 300 to 400 pounds of bran and grain are needed per day. The time when the sheep are released outdoors is usually in the early morning and cool afternoon depending on weather conditions and breeding purposes. Major countries around the world are making continuous efforts to develop the sheep farming industry to meet the market demand and at the same time ensuring the best care for the sheep. Sheep's wool, a valuable resource in the textile industry, is typically harvested in spring or summer when the weather is warm and dry. At this time, the wool is fully developed, providing the best quality and is easily trimmed. The process of harvesting sheep wool on a farm requires care and technique. The first step is to select the sheep. Animals that are mature, healthy, and possess thick, smooth wool. This ensures that the resulting wool will meet quality requirements. The tools that are needed to harvest sheep wool includes shears, shears and brushes, the next steps are shearing the sheep, a delicate process that requires dexterity so as not to damage the sheep's skin. After shearing, the wool is cleaned with a brush to remove dirt and twigs. Then, the fleece is classified by length, fineness, and color. To serve different purposes in the textile industry, this process ensures that the final product will meet the needs and requirements of the market. The amount of sheep wool harvested depends on many factors, including sheep breed, farming conditions and weather. On average, an adult sheep can provide from 9.92 to 44.09 pounds of wool per year, depending on care conditions. Currently, world sheep wool prices ranges from $2 to $10 per pound, creating a diverse and a flexible market. The sheep wool is not only an important source of raw materials but also an important export item for many countries around the world. The largest sheep wool exporting countries include Australia, China, New Zealand, South Africa and India, contributing to the world sheep wool exports which are expected to reach about $100 billion in 2023, among them Australia stands out with a turnover of about $30 billion, holding the leading position in the world. The largest importers of sheep wool today includes China, Japan, South Korea, and the United States, all of which plays an important role in promoting the development and providing resources for the global textile industry bridge. After harvesting the sheep's wool, 
preparing it and sending it to auction is an important process that requires careful care and management. Once harvested, the sheep usually takes about two to three months to be prepared and put into the auction process. Transporting should be done carefully to ensure the sheep's comfort and avoid injuring them. The transport cage is designed to provide comfortable space and keep the air healthy. Each auction can bring in large number of sheep. Depending on the size of the event, sheep auctions in quantities ranging from a few hundred to a few thousands sheep. Before going into the auction process, the sheep farm is carefully prepared. Farm staff needs to be trained in transporting and caring for sheep. Before entering the auction area, sheep are fed, watered, and rested to ensure health and comfort. Upon arrival at the auction area, the sheep are arranged in order in the transport bank. The auction process usually lasts one to two days, depending on the number of sheep participating and the size of the event. The price of the flock of sheep usually is about 10 to 15 sheep, depends on many factors such as sheep breed, meat quality, and auction time. On average, such a flock of sheep costs from $10,000 to $50,000. The auction process ends when all the sheep have been sold and the highest bidder becomes their owner. This process is not only a commercial event, but also an opportunity for farmers and contractors to meet, they exchange experiences and find the best quality sheep for their farms. Preparing and processing lamb is a complex but important process to ensure food quality and safety for consumers, from health checks and full vaccinations of sheep to meat handling and storage. Every step is performed with care and professionalism. The processing begins when the sheep are brought to the processing plant, where they will undergo health checks and vaccinations to ensure meat quality and consumer health first. The sheep are then prepared for stunning using electricity or CO2 gas, minimizing pain for the animals. The next step is the skinning process, where the hair and skin are removed to produce clean, quality lamb. The internal organs are also removed to ensure food safety and prevent any negative impact on meat quality. After completing the previous steps, the lamb is cut into different parts such as ribs, thighs, and shoulders. Subsequent processing includes washing the meat, marinating it with spices and preparing it for packaging. The lamb is then packaged and stored in cold conditions to keep the quality of the meat maintained every day. A processing plant can process thousands of sheep meeting the growing market demand. As of 2023, lamb prices in the U.S. ranges from $5 to $15 per pound, with worldwide consumption reaching about 60 million tons. It is expected that by 2024, this number will increase to about 17 million tons, with a total production value of about $100 billion.
Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through, as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.